I'm kind of giving like 90s gay porn stuff. Yo, my name's Jason. Why don't you come? So with the prevalence of TikTok, I feel like trends are literally, they come and go by so quickly. I used to be so like anal about it. Be like, oh my God, this, these god darn youngins and all that shit. But to be honest, oh, holy, you know what? It's whatever. At this point, it's nice to have uh, opportunities to make content. And today's content is going to be trying like latte. I feel like and I've seen several th names before, like espresso makeup, latte makeup, whatever makeup. It's basically just bronzy makeup. Kunde? It's actually kind of similar to what I did a few uploads ago, my uh, honey makeup for Elle magazine. But this one, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different, but whatever. Think of this as like a podcast. Again, I recently got my beard uh, lasered again. So it, the roots, I guess, are coming back really dark. So I need to color correct using my two color correctors. And also sorry, because my voice is still, you guys have no idea how much of, it's not just ums and, and like long silences. I literally have to edit out all the times I clear my throat. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. I guess all those years of sucking dick and cock. No, but I'm still kind of sick. So uh, it's even worse today. It's actually like, like literally nighttime now. It's like 7 30 p.m. and uh I wasn't originally gonna film this but I was like you know what let's just film a lot of videos and also because uh like I was saying earlier how about how trends and shit are going by so quickly um I figured well although I I'm assuming if you'd be interested in wanting to look for this kind of look you'd probably be looking for it on TikTok itself. I'm gonna be using Perfect Diary Foundation. This is a shade like half a shade darker than the one I would normally use. And Odin Mane, I feel I felt like using one of these buffing brushes. If you're gonna use brushes like this, put the foundation on your hands, spread it out with your finger, and then dip in like this. So it only gets on the start, like the very tips of the bristles. If you just pump out your foundation and stick your brush in, all the foundation will go deep into the bristles and it will apply unevenly and also make washing the brush a fucking bitch. So you can count me in. Oh. I guess the only bad thing is uh, I wouldn't use this if you have more dry skin because sometimes the action of doing this can make your dead skin kind of come up. And since I did color correct here, it's better probably to just tap it rather than swipe it because then if you're swiping, you're obviously swiping off your concealer or corrector. <coughs> that looks so fucking good. Oh, damn, I like the way this shit looks, but it's taking forever. <laughs> Ugh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly powder the upper half of my face first. Uh, this is the perfect diary one. I did that video trying out the honey video, the honey makeup video, and the people over at Perfect Diary that sent me the the all the makeup. They're like, oh my god, we saw it. I showed it to my team. We all loved it. And I was like, yes, but then in the same email, she was talking about how like, but I really recommend you try the powders. <laughs> I was like, damn, okay. Look at this shit. Mm. In the video, I didn't use them because my skin was dry. These powders are good, but if you're having an extra dry skin day, honey, it's probably gonna look drier by the end of the day. So um, I didn't use it in the video. Although I would say with espresso, cafe, latte, whatever, whatever makeup, it's mostly glossy, dewy stuff. But today I want to go for more of like a matte look. But when I do the lips, I will show you like a glossy version of the lips. For now, let me do my eyebrows. I bought more of these pencils from AliExpress, but I actually got the other colors. I'm using this one, which is more of like a, like a really green, dark brown. I use the black and gray pencils to mimic uh, actual hairs. But then I noticed that when I end up using my blonde brown mascara, it looks like very obvious. I figured this color would kind of look better under the uh, brown mascara. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, uh, let's go a little bit backwards. Let's put on blush right now. Looking back at the reference photos, it seems like blush isn't really a big part of the look. So apologies for my ignorant ass. So yesterday I filmed this new collection from Kaleidos and there are four blushes and I tried two in the video, but today I'm using one of the ones I didn't use. This is Hot Shot and I figured this would look really cute. How did they des describe this color as a sunbathed, cool toned, light cinnamon brown? But once it goes, oh my God, that's actually so fucking pretty. Almost looks like a really pale 
brownie, peach cheese. Oh, that is it. Girl, this is basically fucking the honey makeup video. <laughs> Let's put some on the chin too. And my nose here. Oh shit, I forgot to do my egg is her. Tamkaman. I've been doing it slightly differently. I'll take a mix of these two colors on an angle brush that you, you would normally use for like your eyebrows or something. And I actually, I do it here. The actual physical bag I have under my eyes stops here. But I'm actually doing the Aegis a little bit above that. Both my eyes have completely different under eyes. So I'm kind of trying to do this in a way that will match in the end. And on this side. My face is just so fucking wonky. Like everything is just completely uneven. My lips are uneven. My nose is uneven. My eyes are uneven. I know things like your brows and shit like that are supposed to be, oh, sisters, not cousins, but bitch, my fucking face is like distant fourth cousins twice removed or something. So for my eyes, oh, almost, oh my God, this is going by quickly. The eyes are not going to be super sh like crazy or, well, or any of look so much oh, crazy. I'm going to try to keep it very simple. When I was trying to look for colors to use for this video, I instantly thought of this palette. Floresa sent me this palette twice. I have no idea why. They sent it once and I tried it, but I didn't really use it in a video. But then they emailed me again. They're like, oh, we came out with a new palette. You know, please let us send it to you. I was like, okay. They sent me the exact same palette. It gave the vibes of like, oh, I guess she's not selling. So please talk about it. The colors are fucking gorgeous. Kunde, these do not suit me. This is perfect for an autumn warm which is the opposite of me. But I figured these kinds of browns would look really cute. So, um, cause it's, oh, how do you just, it's a very like rusty kind of brown, very like muted coffee browns, obviously latte makeup. Like literally, I feel like just, um, maybe don't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna try to use this color. Oh my god, I was just trying to be relatable. Be like, oh, hi Vogue, this is my daily routine. Look where that fucking got us. There's a skin tone shade in here, let me try using that to fix my mistakes. In general though, a lot of the cafe, what is it fucking called? Latte whatever makeup, they look very like easy. Not really high maintenance. A lot of them just look like they took like a cream eyeshadow and just slapped it on the lids and that's pretty much it. Does that look completely unblended? Yes, it does. <laughs> but I feel like that's part of the charm of this makeup. Uh. Me trying to make an excuse for me fucking up in the middle of this video. Same two colors on a little liner brush and kind of just line the bottom of my lid. I forgot to do this um, on my Aegis side using the matte highlighter to brighten like the actual Aegis high itself. Again, like I was saying with the, like the nose contour, if you kind of just do the Agnes House shadow, but you don't brighten up that area, sometimes it can look just like dark circles. There's some people, if you have like naturally have like Agnes out there, so they can just get away with doing the, the contour part. But for me, I don't really have that. And it kind of looks messy if I just do contour. So I do have to highlight that part. Now let's uh, try to recreate my mistake on this other eye. No, please. Uh. Girl, you can tell I just immediately want to get this over with. Girl, what the fuck is going on here? Oh my lord. Huh. I wanted the look to be matte pretty much overall, but I don't know. I really want to try this shade. Can that make a difference? Yes, I don't know. <laughs> this color as well is really fucking beautiful. This one though, oh my God, it's so fucking pretty. Look at that. Oh, not for today's look though. <gasps> Hold on. I kind of like it. <laughs> but definitely these are exactly the tones that I was thinking of. Like, because bronzy is more of like a yellowy, warm orangey brown. These are more of like a chocolate, like dark cocoa burnt kind of brown. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, let's do the lips. Because I originally wanted to do the matte lip, let me show you the uh, glossy lip first. Mute down my lips first with the remaining foundation. One of the products that was in the new uh, Kaleidos collection was this lip gloss. This one is in the shade Skinny Dip. I'm using this as a base. First, this beigey gloss. First, all over the bottom lip. Oh, God here on the bottom of the upper lip, and then Cupid's bow. Oh, 
just that itself is fucking beautiful. But I'm gonna go in with this like literally, I think this was like $2 from AliExpress. This Capovini brand, they have like this, this lip tint series that's, or lip gloss series that's like chocolate inspired and they all smell like chocolate, but this smells like expired chocolate. <laughs> Whatever. It's not expired. The fake chocolate smell is just really strange. It's gonna go in the middle. Oh, yes! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This color normally by itself would be really fucking weird on me, but because we use that beige, or I use that beige gloss underneath first, this color blends into that one and it just looks more wearable. So basically the same placement, just like in a smaller area. And then up here, this will keep your lips looking like the 2009 K-pop idol lip tint lip. <laughs> oh, that, oh. Also the first initial gloss will almost act like a primer to smooth out your lips. Especially if you're like me and you have like the really wrinkly lips, it will make this really glassy sort of doyen lip. But uh, yeah, that's the glossy version of this latte makeup. Okay, let's do the matte version. Um, I'm gonna take a liquid lipstick. I have this one from Kylie Cosmetics. It's just a nude one. Beige, but it, for me, I have to have one that's a little bit gray. So, same effect as the last one. And then um, I'm using one of Flower Nose Chocolate Chop Cloud Lip Cream. It's supposed to be a latte look, but all the makeup I'm using is like chocolate inspired. Ooh, that is fucking amazing. I like to use a bullet brush to blend out the edge. And also don't forget the Cupid's bow. Ooh, I'm, hold on, oh shit, I'm losing my vision. I kind of like the glossy version more. I don't know if it's because of the lip cream I use, but it's just more like chocolate makeup to me. There's my latte, espresso, frappuccino, Starbucks, whatever makeup look. Not me loving this. <laughs> I really thought it went downhill with the, like the fucking the shit I did with my eyes, but am I giving, who's the, who's the girl that originally started this trend? We're gonna call this latte makeup. Also there's strawberry makeup and shit. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, I'm going now, bye.